Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pranda. I did my MBBS from JLNMC at Padalpur, Bihar and I secured a rank of uh, 862 in this year's NEET PG. So today I'm going to talk about a very important topic that is grand tests. If you're preparing for any kind of competitive exams, grand test is taken as a measure of your preparation. How far along are you? How uh, you know good your preparation is? So it is a point of anxiety for most of the students who are preparing. So uh, if your scores are not improving, if you have hit a plateau or uh, if you are not getting the desired increase in graph or in fact if your scores are declining, I think this video is for you. Because today I am going to explain you in a few crisp points how to approach your GTs. Okay? So uh, the first point that I would like to tell you is start giving your GTs as soon as possible. There is never going to come a time when you are, you know, all ready with your preparation, one read, two reads, and then you feel that, yes, now is the time that I'll give you a GT. You won't feel that prepared even on your main exam day, right? So, as long as you have done your uh, probably six, seven, eight subjects, I think you can, you know, start with your GTs. Uh, you can review only those subjects if the others feel, you know, extremely clueless for you. Review those subjects. Keep going, uh, that will help you, that will, you know, uh, give you a gauge, you know, uh, an idea of how uh, the paper is set, what kind of questions come and somewhere those things stay in your mind, okay? So yes, the first point being, start giving your GTs as soon as possible and considering the next exam to be held in January, I think you should give them every fortnight or so at this point of time, uh, okay? So that is my first point. Now, how to improve your scores, how to start that process? The first thing. Focus on your weak areas, okay? So what do you mean by weak areas? So suppose you have given a GT, you see the bottom five subjects as I have already mentioned. Uh, make a list of those five subjects, see where you are lacking and yes, if uh, one of those subjects, suppose uh, that you have done a subject very nicely, you have just recently finished it and it still comes in your bottom five, okay, then you can do one more thing. You can make a list of your last three GTs and see the bottom five. The subjects which come in common in all those are probably really your weak subjects because one or two subjects do end up coming in bottom five just by chance. Okay, so first thing, uh, recognize your weak areas. Find those subjects and if you have not done any subject clearly, like suppose you have not even touched Pharmac till now, so that will come in your weak area. So the, uh, you can just simply uh, do Pharmac before your next GT and then see how it works for you. So that is my first thing. Recognize your weak subjects. Now suppose once you have recognized your weak subject, how will you go about it? First thing, do the previous year questions. This also I have already told you. Don't start uh, blindly with your long notes at this point if you are focusing the next exam. Okay. First see your previous year topics, see the areas from where questions are frequently asked, then read your notes. If you have not read your long notes, read the long notes. If you have a good, uh, you know, short uh, note source a revision source you have uh, you have it ready with you use that revision source you can use first aid you can use btr yes so that depends on you but uh, the thing is that focus on important areas don't go on reading everything blindly because nowadays the coaching uh, institutes give you a lot of uh, extra information so you don't have to you know assimilate everything only focus on the uh, weak areas because your syllabus already is extremely vast 19 subjects is not a joke so selective study is going to help you at all times. Okay, So that is the first thing that uh, you will find your uh, bottom five or the subjects you have not completed. Complete them before your next GT and then see how things go for you. Okay. Now the second thing. Second thing, if you are more or less done with all of your subjects or if things are not very clear for you that uh, where exactly are you lacking even after you know doing all those things and this goes for everyone. When you give a GT and if you have done most of your subjects but you still are not able to score well, make a list of your weak topics. That is your uh, a sort of GT copy. Okay. So suppose you sit, uh, sit in a test and you see that you have not done well in the portion where you know fungi are asked or a uh, waste bins and uh, you know uh, canola colors. So if you are seeing that you didn't remember those things well in this GT or you know suppose vectors or uh, anything anything if you see that you have not learned them well this time just make a list of all those weak topics and before your next gt two or three days before you stop your regular studies and you just go through that list and uh, try to memorize all those uh, areas okay and as i had already told in your pyq list that you will do in the last three days this list can work similarly 
suppose if you uh, did a mistake on your waste bins so you write waste bins and decide that to write that mcq id of that gt or if there's a pearl available write that pearl id and then before your next gt you just have to you know say that mcq id or pearl id the thing will open you have to memorize it and keep doing it for all gts okay then uh, when you give your next gt make a list again and then in your other test that you give after this you can include the weak areas of the first two tests now the trick behind this this list is not a final list the final list is the list that i told you of your previous year topics but this list is a way to do multiple revisions to memorize one thing multiple times before each gt okay so that is how it will work for you uh, you'll uh, keep crossing out the things that you are confident on uh, suppose uh, now you are extremely suppose at this point i'm extremely confident on waste bins i know that if that question comes i'll be able to mark it or std kids so the moment you feel that yes i'm confident in it don't uh, hesitate in crossing it out because your final list that you make is going to be different this list is all about improving your memory revising the same things again and again and this revision is not going to be a subject wise revision of all the important and unimportant things this is only going to be a high yield revision okay so this is the second thing that you need to pinpoint your weak topics and work on them before your next gt now the third and very important point that i have seen many people do you know it's a mistake it's a very common mistake that i see around me is to analyze your reading method your studying method like maybe you're studying 16 18 hours a day you know you're giving everything you have sacrificed everything but you're still not getting the results so maybe there's some fundamental mistake in your preparation okay so that is something you need to reflect on suppose if you find out that your weak subject is obs and gynae so are you like sitting with your notes or with your textbooks and you know reading cover to cover and uh, uh, you know seeing each and every question important unimportant question reviewing it are you making it huge or is it wrong like this is a common mistake that i've seen people do but is there any other mistake that you're doing in your whole preparation so that is something you need to reflect on the only way to go about these things is to filter out the important topics if you focus on everything if you try to read each and everything and get each of those questions correct you'll end up doing even the easy ones wrong okay so the third important thing that i want you to uh, you know see is to analyze your preparation the method that you're following is there some fundamental error in that method recognize it watch the previous videos that i have made or, or you know video of any person that you find uh, uh, good to give good advice or anything and then see that are you making the same mistake again and again because sometimes it takes time to recognize that yes this is the mistake i'm making and yes i need to change it so now is the time to change it Maybe you are seeing that people are telling you to filter out stuff, but you're still not confident enough. You're still thinking that I need to, you know, study each and everything. So there you're wrong. Like studying each and everything is important, but as your exam dates come near, you have to filter out things. Otherwise, you just end up losing marks and you're going to get very average scores. So yes, that is one thing that I need you to reflect on. If everything is right, but still your scores are not improving, focus on your method. See where you're lacking. Okay. So third point is that and the last point another extremely important point is maybe you just need to be patient if you see that all the things that i have told you all the areas that i have told you to work on you are already doing those things but still your marks is not improving since the last three or four tests maybe you just need to be patient because there is a very important concept of the valley of disappointment that i want to share with you today and it happens with almost everyone but uh, we often don't recognize it so i'll also you know put a picture of the graph of the value of disappointment we think that uh, our uh, results are going to be as consistent as our efforts like a straight line graph you know going very uniformly just a straight line that oh my god i studied 8 hours i'm studying 10 hours but my score did not improve by 50 marks in this gt so it does not work that way we think that will it will go like this but it actually goes like this the initial part will be slow you know you will uh, not see suppose even if you start working out you don't see your abs or your muscular growth in the first few weeks right in the first few weeks you don't see anything actually so the tip here is to keep with that perseverance you need to have perseverance in that phase when you're not seeing any results the person who fails to do this simply fails and the person who keeps perseverance in this valley that person is going to get like 
substantial results the graph rises like this it will be way beyond your expectations like in my case i had simply targeted 1000 1500 rank i don't know maybe it's because of my average mindset or something i never expected to get a three digit rank like there are toppers out there with two and one digit ranks but i did not consider myself to be that but uh, you know i kept trying and even uh, you know i have a great examples among my friends my batchmates who kept trying and the final result that was it was way more than their expectations so this is what you you, you need to focus on maybe all your efforts are in the right direction maybe everything is going just as it should so you need to keep up with it instead of fretting and you know uh, being overwhelmed that why is your score not improving maybe it just needs more time in the same way in the same manner in which you're studying and then your scores will improve because it happened to me i was stuck in this 120 to 130 correct area for like 3 to 4 months even after i was doing everything right and then all of a sudden my score just start improved and towards my last uh, month every gt that i gave every, you know i gave a lot of gts at some point just because i was scared and i was scoring really great in all of those so maybe you just need time for it okay so these are the things that i need you to keep in mind and follow and i'm pretty sure that you will see an improvement in your gts and last but not the least always remember that your real exam is going to be a bit different on your gts so don't be obsessed with your gts yes i'm not saying that you don't need to improve because you are going to measure your preparation based on these tests so yes focusing on gts is important but always remember that your real exam questions are a bit different you need to see how the previous year questions are and then you will feel that difference yourself okay and yes uh, adding to that i did narrow gts or only because they have a great explanation so you can choose any tams gts are great prep gts are great and there are many more platforms now but yes maro for me uh, i did not use its notes but the the gt explanations were great as i have already told you the pearl id thing the reference the explanations everything is great so yes uh, focus on that and uh, do like and subscribe uh, like this video and subscribe my channel so yes